The news is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, Cyril B. Romney Tertola Pier Park, NV Salon Spa Nail and Barber Shops, the Wellness Center Medical and Behavioral Health Clinics, Tissily Cross Deliciously Smooth Cider, HOV Medical, and Digicel. Sign up for Digicel Plus Home Light Bundles, faster internet movies and sports. I support the order in council. One thousand percent. And however you, you dress it up and frack it up and shut it up and tie it up, <laughs> I won't comment. I, Bear Brown, support the order in council and the government in my view, the governor in my view, heard he should already drop it or not. That was earlier today, January 8, 2024. An emphatic statement by former police commissioner of the Royal Police Force of Antigua and Barbuda, Ver H. E. Brown, a resident of the Virgin Islands. How long are you going to give people opportunity to fail? Fail, 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 fail. Uh, Bernard, you go in class. You go in school for five years and you never pass the test. But when you fail, the second time I drop in you. I And you just <laughs> fail, fail, fail. We cannot allow, you know, to be run by failures. So, so why we allow a government to just fail, a fail experiment? They just fail, fail, fail. And everybody come, oh, yeah, yeah, give them. Look, there, there are limitations to everything in life. There are consequences for action. Okay? Not we have to BBI. open our eyes in this British Virgin Islands and, uh, and don't allow this emotional thing to overcome us. The reality is reality. We, we have a failed experiment going on right now. And we keep, they keep putting us against England and so on and so forth. People don't be fooled. The right. governor should have dropped that order in council on us a long time ago and this place would be in a better position. Look at it right now. Top of Brown's claim that government has failed. Tell them address the electricity surcharge that they promised us and up to now they don't um, deliver. Look at the roads. Look at the infrastructure. Look at the promise they made to the people on the 1st of December 2023 and up to now they don't fulfill it. Contacted subsequently General Manager for the BVI Electricity Corporation, Mr. Neil Smith, has confirmed with JTV that 50% of fuel surcharge for domestic customers has been subsidized by the government of the Virgin Islands for the month of December 2023. Brown's comment followed the Friday, January 5 announcement by His Excellency the Governor John J. Rankin, CMG, that he will be seeking to have additional powers to move a the implementation of reforms as recommended in the Commission of Inquiry. A move the governor says he sees as necessary due to the sloth of pace of government to have seen done. Now, Premier and Minister of Finance, Dr. The Honorable Natalia D. Wheatley, has lashed out at Brown for his statement. You had one caller who called in and said he supports the order in council 100%. I think and it was, it was a lie. thoughtful to me to hear it, especially because this gentleman has come from a country which is independent. Mm. And I'm not putting local against persons from any other country. And I'm comforted by the fact that there are many out there who have come from other places and they don't share those backwards views. Mm. Okay. But to have been able to achieve the, the, the advancement of becoming independent of colonialism and to come here in the Virgin Islands and say that we must be subjected to colonialism, I find very egregious and a matter that is very difficult for me to forgive, even though I'm a very forgiving person. And according to Premier, others need to take note so I would encourage all persons who live here and persons who have come from wherever they have come from to support the basic human rights. And it is a matter of human rights of the people of the Virgin Islands, first and foremost. And I'm going to deal with the reason why, in a little while, we take these type of approaches we fall right into the trap which has been laid for us and has been used against peoples around the world True. for over 400 years. Following the governor's announcement, Premier Wheatley has announced his government's intentions to protest and has indicated that all legislators are in solidarity. With this JTV News update, Kathy Richards. 
We know that where you choose to bank matters, and it is your vote on what your funds do in strengthening our community. As your official Bank of Paradise, we invest and support the lifeblood of our economy by helping in the realization of personal goals for homeownership, education, and entrepreneurial visions, which support small businesses. We make it our place to connect with persons and worthy causes, and we have been doing so for more than 30 years. Where your money goes and what your dollars and power are your choice. And we thank you for choosing us, a bank that gives where it matters the most, for you, for our community, and a happier tomorrow. The National Bank of the Virgin Islands. Everyone looks to the future, but no one truly knows what the future holds. The number of people under the age of 20 with type 2 diabetes could increase by 49% by 2050. Let it be known that we all have a 30% chance of developing hypertension. Globally, more than 300 million people of all ages suffer from depression. More than 60,000 young adults aged 20 to 39 are diagnosed with cancer each year. Obesity leads to problems such as stroke, heart disease, and kidney failure. No matter your race, age, or color, we are all at risk. These diseases can be managed or prevented if caught early. But with the right medicine and the right doctors to keep us on a path to live a robust and healthy life, we will live well. Plug into Digicel Plus and get even more entertainment with Disney Plus included. The best of Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, and National Geographic all in one place. Whenever you want, plug into Plus to enjoy Disney Plus and much more with a home fiber bundle. Sign up today, Digicel Plus.